All right, and our last style of trap that can be very effective for trapping beavers is what's known as a snare. Um, this one's made out of cable. Um, it's something you can make uh, just through purchasing components out of a trapping supply catalog, or you can also purchase these already constructed and put together um, in, in, in the package and mailed right to your door. Um, they primarily consist of a loop end. This allows the trap to be wired or staked um, to, the, to the trap site. Um, you have a length of cable. And at the end, we have a snared cable lock um, and also uh, a piece of equipment that is optional, but I do recommend that's known as a deer stop. Um, a trap like this, a snare, has got to be set on, in water in the state of Alabama. Uh, that's to reduce the catch of non-target animals um, like deer, um, like, uh, say, the neighborhood dog, anything like that. It's really important to make sure these are set in water to where you're primarily only going to catch beaver with a snare. And that's because without this deer stop, these are a very lethal trap. They are a choking trap. Um, and they're able to take down some tremendously large animals and, and non-target animals that you uh, that you can, cannot then release. Um, but it essentially will work to where you set it up in maybe a uh, culvert or run, some narrow confined area. As that beaver moves through, his head will essentially be targeted through the middle of the snare and as he keeps pushing, his wide shoulders and body will cause the snare to you know, slide down and close on him. This deer stop, you can see how much space is here. This is a little bit exaggerated for this video. The deer stop causes the cable lock to stop short of compressing all the way down. Otherwise, this could be compressed down to about the size of a quarter. Um, so the deer stop allows for if a deer does end up hitting this or if a dog does end up hitting this, they can simply back out from the snare. Um, a very lightweight, very economical, um, and uh, an effective uh, trap to be used for beaver. All right, here we have a pretty good site to possibly catch a beaver on a snare set. Um, it's a good site. On the back side, we can see that we've got an old feed bed. It's old, but there's still a lot of activity in the area. Um, with this iron uh, dot coming off the, the dam face, um, the beavers, we can tell they're moving through underneath of it. There's kind of a hollowed out area in the back, and it looks like they're kind of cutting the corner here. Um, there's fresh tracks, good, good muddied up area. They're kind of running this whole bank. Um, now, I'd like to set this snare on the back side of that in that hollowed out area, but there's no water back there. In the state of Alabama, we've got to make sure to have our snare set in the water. Um, so we're going to hopefully catch them maybe kind of cutting the corner when they're moving back and forth from this feed bed uh, back around the back side of the dam. Um, so starting off with our snare set, you've got to get a stake in, in the, from around the area. Just a wooden stake works good. Um, and I cut about an 8-inch piece of uh, that 14, 14 or 11 gauge wire, whatever I've got handy. Um, that 14 gauge um, does seem to bend a little bit a little bit better and hold the snare up for me. But um, basically you'll take, split that wire, or go, go to the middle length of that 8-inch wire. So where you have four inches on, on one side of the stake and four inches on the other and simply just twist that wire around until you end up with kind of a fork at the end. Uh, this allows for uh, some really nice easy adjustment for the snare placement. Um, and just kind of sizing it up here, um, I've already kind of adjusted the height and, 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 uh, and, and position of this stake to where the, the snare is pretty much ready to be placed. Um, we are in the water, um, and I'm going to stake, stake this set down with this 30-inch water stake. That shorter stake was, isn't going to work in this situation, um, being that I want to stake away from allowing this beaver, once snared, to come around the corner of that, that dock because of that sharp uh, steel edge, or it could possibly wear this, this snare cable down on that cement uh, piling there. So if we stake him away on this side, he can only have open water area to roam in and not have the opportunity to wear off on that other stake or on that other uh, uh, cement post or the, or the uh, steel dock. So we'll come off here, we will stake down, we will stake down our snare. And I've hit bottom right there. So I'll come off in another direction. And there we go, all the way down to the pond bottom. How to adjust this snare and cable. Now the important thing is to make sure that this snare is contacting water in order to be legal in the state. And again, keep your lineman pliers close by to where you can make some 
adjustments on your wire bracket there. You can kind of come down and adjust this stake pretty easily where our snare is in the water. Now there's a lot of places the beaver can go besides that snare uh, with it sitting just like this. Um, so one thing we may want to do is just kind of come around and stake it up on this side, just convince him to make this turn. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Just enough to show him that way is a little bit more difficult. Just to make sure that he doesn't try to nose between the snare cable and the cement post, I'm going to put another cut branch right there to where he's pretty much faced with having to put his face leading right through that snare. Um, and again, once you're finally wrapped up, you can lower that snare to where it is indeed in the water. Um, we've got some grasses really close here. Again, I always try to like to camouflage as much as I can. Um, and you can do that a little bit with this snare cable. Um, this can kind of act as fence, and you can see where the cable's leading into the water. And a pond doesn't have a whole lot of wave action on this side today to where this grass is going to stay pretty well put for us and leave a nice open area for that beaver to come easy through.